We conduct the study in, uh, in the United States first. We did a compassion use in two centers, the Cleveland Clinic and the uh, Columbia University in New York. And then we conduct the studies in Europe and in Canada. So we have done 18 patients of compassion use successfully in plantation as a new device, trachopic replacement, orthotopic rep trachopic replacement for severe patient with ischemic uh, cardiomyopathy and severe uh, trachopic regurgitation. Yeah, the technology we use is, um, in this kind of patient, really, um, we have a severe trachopic regurgitation patient with mostly second, the majority of those secondary TR because in many time, many years ago, we didn't uh, address the trachopic regurgitation at the time of the heart valve disease. Thinking about the fixing the left side will completely fix the right side. It was a mistake. So right now we have a lot of patients come back, almost 1.6 million patients with a severe trachopic regurgitation, and associated with right heart failure and readmission for heart failure, multiple readmission for failure. So clinical uh, medical therapy doesn't have any benefit. Send the patient to another surgery, carry tremendous higher morbidity mortality. So in order to fix this problem, this patient, we try to get some kind of repair or replace technology for transcatheter. Try to avoid the cardiopulmonary bypass or the surgery, cardiac surgery, that create tremendous negative impact in survival and quality of life of this patient. So why, that's why we develop uh, um, a new technology. There is a, it's a self expandable nitinol cage that has an um, interesting thing, three particulars. It has a very low profile, also has a different anchor system that engage the annulus of the trachopic valve from above and from below, and also expansion of the radial force of the stent. And also the other important feature is it has different sizes. This patient has a huge annular dilatation, 45, 55, 60 millimeters of diameter. So this valve is going from 36 to 52 millimeters of diameter. Thinking about the biggest size of we have in the surgical valve is 33 millimeters of diameter. So this possibility to get percutaneously without using cardiopulmonary bypass, a big valve implantation in autotopic position. That's what we have right now. Well, the study design, basically we start with uh, a lot of research and um, no, and no preclinical, pre uh, preclinical uh, animal studies successful with that and after we present to the FDA in the United States and the IRB in every, every centers, they approve for, for moving to the human. So we did a very compassion use patient first. So we did 18 cases around the world and then we, our, uh, our idea of you know, thinking is to do another phys early feasibility trial at the end of the year and then will be the at least one year follow up of this patient. That will be the best. Yeah, the finding for these compassion use patients are really, really uh, encouraged um, because, first of all, we almost completely eliminate the trachopic regurgitation of the patient with a single shot of a valve. It's the same, we mimic the same result where we have a cardiac surgery when you replace the valve, there's no more trachopic regurgitation. Uh, that's the most important thing. Secondly, most of the patients, over 18, 14 are alive. One of the patients is almost 13 months after the implant. Uh, so we're very excited about that. The only issue we need to start indicate this, this uh, new technology for early patient, early clinical state, no waiting for the very large uh, last uh, moment that the patient has no other option. So that's uh, in the early feasibility trial, we need to find a way to get an early access of this uh, device in, in patient clinical status to get a really better quality of life and maybe get the impact in survival over time. This is, this is a very good question because uh, this is a big field, as like you say, 1.6 million patients waiting for something. So there's a big space for many players. I will say trachopy repair technologies and many of those. Um, there's some good results, some not so good. Um, the challenge of this repair is because you're working with the annuals, very big annual dilatation, and also tearing the leaflet in order to create a competent valve with three leaflets is more difficult than two leaflets of a mitral valve. So there's a lot of challenge in the, in the repair system. Our challenge, I think, uh, in terms of functionality of the valve, performance of the valve is very good. We eliminate most of the trachopic regurgitation over time. The problem is the size. 
Uh, we have done through the so mini thoracotomy, you know, with the, um, without cardiopulmonary bypass, without using the traditional cardiac surgery, but we like, and then we did the four patients with the trying jugular, but depends on the size of the vessel, so we are limited with that. So we're moving towards to improve the, decrease the size of the, of the, the delivery system and go to the femoral vein to try to eliminate the thoracotomy of this patient. So that's, that's our challenge for the next, next couple of months. Well, the further research is going to be the early feasibility trial in the United States and uh, CMAR most probably here in Europe.